Hi family, I just wanted to share something that was on my heart today. You know, when you grow up in trauma and dysfunction and it is seeped into every area of your life, it is so important to understand and level set what acceptable, normal, respectful um, relationships and, and character is. So one of the things I was considering is <clears throat> for many, many years being on my healing journey, I would sometimes give brownie points or credit to people, places, and circumstances just because they weren't as bad as the last thing or something that I witnessed in my surroundings. And what happened was it gave me a warped understanding of what something is that's truly healthy. Just because something isn't as bad as something that you've seen or experienced previously does not mean that that thing is actually healthy. And so when we're looking at how we parent, when we are looking at our friendships, when we are looking at our intimate relationships or pursuing relationships, we have to look at people's character for just what it is. We have to have an actual standard that says this is good character, this is not good character. And then make a choice from there. And I'm not talking about judging people or anything like that. But so many of us fall into these loops and cycles of just interacting and just moseying about life. And we're not intentional and in, in really looking and making choices intentionally. And so when I actually began a few years ago now, intentionally making decisions and intentionally choosing um, the type of people that I wanted to surround myself with, the type of life that I wanted to live, um, really walking in my identity of who I am and who the most high created me to be. I was like, oh my gosh, like I was just watching. It was like a domino effect. I just started looking around. It was like everything was crashing down. And then I was like, no, everything can't be crashing down like this. Like what? what's at the root of it? So one of the exercises I started to do was walking back every single um, relationship that I had. What was the root of it? Why was I attracted to this person? What was it about them? Was it purely lustful or like shallow was there something in their in their character or something they did that you know drew me to them for a particular reason and as I started to walk back all relationships I'm not just talking about like dating or marriage or anything like that I'm talking about friendships I'm talking about um, family relationships like why is this per like why do I interact with these people in this way and I just did a practice of walking it back as far back as I could remember and when I got down to the root of it, there was a lot of um, misalignment, a lot of trauma, a lot of abuse just at the root of all these relationships. But it was really just like built into the family culture. And so then what I began to do was study families, um, businesses, systems that I felt were healthy and really digging into what does this look like? What are the practices? What are these folks doing? Um, what is the system? What is the healthy system look like? What does the healthy family system look like? And really studying um, friendships, relationships, and dynamics and, and trying to find the commonality. Oh, respect is a commonality in a healthy relationship. The ability to disagree without having to deal with someone's blow up or something like the be the ability to correct one another in love like all of these things were like symptoms if you will of a healthy relationship and so I just want to encourage you today everyone is talking about like grow 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 expand evolve da, da, da. and we rarely talk about like the actual practical way of what that actually looks like so practically, you're going to have to walk back every single relationship in your life, including your family relationships, friendships, how you're parenting, how you were parented, um, the jobs, your career, everything. You have to walk it all back and get to the root of why you made those choices. Um, and if they reflect who you are, who you're called to be, and who you are becoming, right? 
And then from there, you can kind of put back and position those building blocks according to your current standard that you are intentionally deciding. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Don't allow the trauma of your past to dictate your future.